Ha, huh, welcome back to Smooth Encounters. So, uh, this week, finally, Pam 60 is gonna get its roof back. So, we've gone through and fixed all the gutters, all the edge of the roof, as you've seen. There is still some bits where you've got, I've got to knock weld down, but I'll do that once the roof is back on the car. Cause it's very, very, very flimsy, especially while it's slipped up the right way like this. Um, it says every time this roof is going to destroy itself, it's going to be now when we put it back on. Being that when it's upside down, all the edges are stopping it from bowing. Picking it up like this, it is like you push down this edge, and that edge diagonally moves, and that edge picks up. So uh, you got to be very, very careful putting this roof back on. <clears throat> we have gone through and primed the whole entire car structure. Everything under there is being primed. So I went around for paintbrush because I get our spray gun when you can paint it on with a paintbrush. Doesn't matter if it's thin or thick, painting off paintbrush means you can get in all the little, around all the welds which are left. And yeah, paintbrushes, two dolls from Bunnings. Again, it's having to re-clean my paint gun, which is a pain in the butt to clean, so. But <clears throat> the roof everywhere under where the struck, where the roof sits has been primed. It's got up here where I've had to fix up one of the joiners. Um, once the roof is on, you're gonna add that brace to the rear here. So there is another whole set of holes there for another one of these. So it was gonna add another. There is nowhere else to add one, otherwise we would. So I'm gonna put another one of these ones at the back here. And hopefully it's the right size. Um, so here we go. Yeah. So as I thought, this uh, the driver's side is fighting me because of all the patches that got put in. The passenger side here sits down with this little bit of movement. Whoops, not meant to smash them that way. So I'm fighting with where the gutter off the other roof come and these roof sections. It's not quite right. Again, 
I, this is the second time I don't I know it wasn't gonna be perfect but I did try my best so I've just literally got to hit my head against it think about it try different ways to get the roof to suck down into the gutter rail at the moment I'm using one of my clamps with actually the release pin for a hitch because that can't get in and flipping it over it can't get in and get enough pressure on the roof section to get it into the gutter so I'm doing it that way and then there's massaging it where with the hammer ever so slightly where it's needed just to get the edge to go back down so I knew I'd have this problem I had this issue with my ute before it was a ute but uh, I've always been told about it and wouldn't happen if I bought a brand new roof skin but you now we are trying to build this car with a certain budget in mind and spending that much money on a roof skin definitely isn't in the budget um, and you know, I can still this roof will be good once it's back on so as we're pulling it down it is sucking the roof down onto the braces um, I did forget to go through and put tape on the braces because they they had a double-sided tape or a foam on them um, when I get to that I'll actually put I won't put I probably should put a tape there because the tape has a little bit of expansion and contraction against putting like body sealer um, it did also, I did not put any sealer on that because I'll do the same thing with my ute and when, once I do on my ute I hinge that down a little and just put dabs in there um, because from factory there's like six or eight big dabs and with my ute I went along and I put like a dozen, dozen a bit small dabs in there and I don't have any issues in my ute that had also fractured so the sealer had already split and it wasn't holding it anymore so I reckon doing it more of less is better than less of more you know more of little dabs against less of big dabs will work and then I'll probably end up just running a bit along the edge anyway so yeah I'll see how we go as to whether we put this sunbeam in I want to but once the roof's on we'll see if it even fits because I do know these are different well they're meant to be identical because they are identical but depends on how the frame like the frame in your roof isn't dead straight it all has curves like when you look down the side of these they all have curves they bulge out it's a big bubble even though it's a brick it's a bubble so the other thing I've also got to do is I've still got to modify the mirrors being that this is a quarter glass door and that mirror anyways had a bolt snapped off in it I'll weld that back flat and I'm going to move the mirror all the way up here to where the full glass doors have them so I'll take a template off mine and I'll move them to suit so there is a panel in there from there to there for your mirrors so it is on the inside of the door already you've just got to move and weld another nut in um, also I dropped the vice grips earlier and they shattered what was left of this window it was poking up ever just and it shattered but we're turning this into a full glass door anyway we're not keeping the quarter glass because the missus quite likes the big GXL windows and we're turning it into a GXL not a G pack so well, I'm going to turn the camera off while I fight with this side and yeah, we'll see how far we get. So I did go along and tack that. I have already seamed that in. So that's that patch I done. It wasn't 100%. Um, I thought it was, but the second it went on, it's out by like four or five mil, which is enough to be a pain in the butt. So but I did the best I could with what I had. So yeah, let's keep going.
Woo! So that's that done. Um, roof is pretty much on. It's all been tacked in. Got a bit of body work to do, but as you've seen, it's all on. You will have seen by the time lapses. So the back got done. Uh, I put some weight on it to try and suck that roof down while I done that corner, and it did suck it down a bit. So, you know, tricks of the trade, tricks of thinking differently. Um, I've also found another little bit of rust while the missus was out here having a look at it. She's getting to get ready for work. Poor bug has gone over shift, so found a bit more rust in there. So that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, it's pretty much like right there, but <clears throat> it's only just starting. So I've got a screwdriver, a flathead I can get in there. I can knock the rust off and I will hit it with uh, phos phosphoric acid. That shit, that stuff. So I'll hit it with that and that ought to fix it. But, you know, all that needs to be resealed anyway. But there is only one spec like right there. Um, there's a hole there as well, but then we got a little patch there, which I'll just put a plate alloy on the back and I'll weld that back up. And then there are the other holes I'm going to fix. Two holes there. And just a hole here in the rear, which I'll literally, right there, I'll cut out and I'll plate and I'll stitch that back in. And then in the rear here, We've just got a section there I gotta fix, which is easy. And same on the other side, just there, the section what's lost. So, apart from that, love the sound of a bar door slam. Uh, all this our next meet is in March for no January for the Land Cruisers. Uh well for also got a trip in March with the missus. So we got a little bit coming up, um, but just get this time, this stuff done. We're also almost out of gas, so there's like not much left in her. So I might actually go get a swap and go, swap and go bottle again. Um, I think I'd done a bottle when I was building my Bowick. So you go through it kind of quick, but not quick. Anyway, that'll be enough for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're still here, cheers. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, that is. So, yeah. It isn't the most interesting stuff, but, you know, not every day you see a four-wheel drive roof come off and go back on. I know it is a fair few videos between coming off and going back on, but if I was to do it all in one video, like, that roof's been off for three weeks, three, three and a half weeks. Um, yeah, so if I was to do all of it in one video, it'd be a hell of a long video. You wouldn't really see anything of everything because there'd be that much different stuff going on, like taking the roof off, fixing it, putting it back on. It's three to four weeks. And if I was to do that in one video, you wouldn't see a video every week. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Yeah.